Today marks the second year the Bahamas is celebrating majority rule. It was back on January 10, 1967, when Bahamians witnessed a hard-fought and competitive election, with both the Progressive Liberal and the United Bahamian Parties winning 18 seats. The PLP, however, would gain two additional seats, obtaining majority rule in Parliament. That victory helped to usher in many opportunities for Bahamians, not only from a political, but economic and social standpoint. Our friend Kerry sat down with 74-year-old Al Altamese Isaacs, who was just a teenager when majority rule became a reality. Like other youngsters at that time, Isaacs said her yearning for a better way of life started years earlier when as a primary school student, she realized her education would come to a screeching halt. When a woman became 14 years of age in school, she was taken out of school and they taught her how to cook and wash and whatnot. You could only aspire to be like a kitchen mechanic in somebody's house in Cable Beach, or wash, iron, cook. That was your life. The treatment her grandfather received at the hands of his employers also solidified Isaac's desire for change. My grandfather was, I would used to call him an obedient servant. Whatever he was told to do, even though he was much older than some of the persons he worked with, he did. He would never even look back. That bothered me because I used to always say to him, I call him daddy because my father died when I was very young. I would always say daddy. Why would you let them talk to you like that? You have to stand up. And I would say that will never happen to me in this life. I'm going to change that. So I had, I had a personal objective because I was not going to let anybody ride me the way they rode it. And she did in her own way. She later became a trade unionist, fighting for the rights of workers in her trademark, outspoken and decisive way. At 16, Isaacs recalled working at the then Botelco as one of only five black employees there. We never used the front door. We had to walk through the back door. Now, this is a government department. But this is the sort of thing that was practiced, okay? However, majority rule helped to change that, paving the way for secondary education to be made available to all. Isaacs later dropped out of school, but that did not stop her desire to obtain a college education. She received a bachelor's degree at age 57. I stood up and I squeezed that and shook my hand. Everybody was wondering what, what happened to her, she would move. And I just shook that because, you know, I was saying, thank you, Jesus, I made it, I yeah. made it. For Isaacs, that occasion was matched only by the advent of majority rule. I was like I was in a plane, but I was still walking. I was walking on air. And I mean, shouting and screaming for hours. I know I'll never feel like that ever in my life again, but that was a feeling. In here, I was saying, I have my country. It's my country now. We in charge. Burn Carey, Zedanus Network News.